Hey guys, it's Aaron. Just want to do a quick product review here on a um, on my sand scoop. It seems like I'm getting a lot of questions on this thing lately. Um, I'm not quite sure why, um, but um, it is a great scoop. I've had this scoop for at least eight or nine years. I got it in either 2011 or 2012, and it's made by Sunspot. And Sunspot used to be uh, located right here in my area. I'm in Dearborn, Michigan, and uh, Sunspot used to be in Warren. Well, now they've um, been bought out by um, uh, another um, um, uh, company, but it's still called Sunspot. But they're out in California now, and they have a... Uh, I don't think they make this scoop anymore. They make a different type of scoop, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, that isn't as durable as this scoop. Now, this scoop is really heavy duty. I mean, it's all stainless steel, and it, um, it's it got really, I, I, I really love how the, uh, the scoop is conformed. You've got the, the real tiny, um, holes at the bottom and those holes will actually prevent a, uh, a 22 short from um, from passing through it'll it'll go all the way to the back of the casing and uh, and that's where it'll that's where it'll stop so you can see it poking through there okay but uh, you'll still get it and the um, the bottom the bottom holes uh, it's got the tiny bottom holes and then it's got the bigger ones on the side to help with the uh, the quicker sifting and also check out the back the back has got the tiny holes on the very bottom so you can still tilt it down like this when you're sifting and it won't <clears throat> it won't fall out the, those back holes unless you tip it real far back and um, the uh, thing has got a kick plate on the back that's real heavy duty and the um, uh, the pole is actually a two-piece pole it unscrews here and right now it's kind of stuck I haven't taken it apart in a lot of six weeks but um, I'd have to wrench on it to get it loose and I just um, I just added this uh, um, side uh, mount uh, handle which is a little um, convenient for lifting it up but um, the only thing I I'm concerned about with this pole or with this scoop rather is the plastic mount right here and I'm always scared that it's gonna break but it hasn't it's pretty rock solid and the only thing is is after you use the scoop you really got to, after, after it, it's all dried and the wood's all dried and everything, I always, have, I always go through with the socket wrench and retighten these down. It's got this heavy duty aluminum bracket right here that mounts to the back. So it's not gonna, nothing's gonna tear through the back of that scoop. It's really, it's bulletproof, man. I mean, the Incredible Hulk couldn't bust this thing. And um, <clears throat> so usually these always have to be tightened after every use and then these ones maybe a little but like i said that's plastic so um i'm very careful about over tightening it but it's very stout and those inner ones right there the inner ones those have to be tightened a little bit too um so um yeah it's a great it's a great scoop man i mean look at the tip on this thing it's hardly even bent and I'm telling you, man, I have pushed this scoop through rocks and cement-like uh, clay. I mean, I have punished this thing, and it just keeps ticking. Um, I've never had a problem with it. Now, on the other hand, let me show you the other sun scoop, uh, sunspot scoop I this got. This is the other sun scoop, uh, scoop I got, sunspot scoop I got. This one costs about $450. It lasted me about uh, maybe two trips to the lake and that was it. 
and then I crunched the bottom of it. All right, and how that happened was, was basically, let's say, I pushed it down into the, uh, I was probably working in some clay where I had to push it down. And then when I pushed it, uh, tilted it back to pull the scoop back up with the, uh, with the sand, I didn't know it, but there was a rock beneath that scoop and it just caved it. It just caved it in. And, um, you know, I looked at this thing and it looks like, it looks like the, uh, the gauge of the stainless is about the same, but I'm telling you, man, the first time I took this new sunspot scoop out, I already noticed a lot of wear on it. I mean, look at, I mean, you're, this scoop is, is eight, nine years old. And this scoop was used two, three times. So, I mean, there's something, there's something up with the gauge of stainless that they're using. Now, granted, it's going to be a lot weaker when you've got bigger holes. It's like a piece of Swiss cheese, this one, okay, compared to this one. Now, um, the reason I got this one was whenever I go down and hunt with my buddy Tom Dankowski down in Cocoa Beach, um, he always lets me borrow his scoop. And when I use this thing down there the first time, I had to have one. I mean, they're great scoops for, for a sand beach, okay? It's light, especially with this carbon fiber pole, all right? And it's well made, but it's just not, it's not meant for a lake that's got rocks and hard clay, okay? Also, another thing is, with these holes, forget it. I wasn't even thinking, you know, because it's like impossible to find earrings and it's impossible to, to catch a 22 stud. Forget about bullets. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Now, um, the one thing I really like about these new scoops is, is the kickback, okay? The back of it. Now, on my uh, old scoop here, the angle of the, uh, of the kicker in back is a lot, is a lot uh, different an angle okay get it in the light here so here's the deal like for instance when you want to you want to get in a uh, you want to dig a hole you gotta you gotta lean that thing really far forward okay and then get your foot on it whereas with with the newer design scoop the kickback isn't as steep so you don't have to put the pole as far forward so it's a lot more handier in that respect. Now, as far as that scoop, I don't know if Sunspot makes them. They have a website. I haven't been on it lately, and I still got to send that back. It's supposed to have a lifetime warranty. I called them. They said, okay, yeah, send it back. But I just haven't time, had time to get around to it. Plus, I don't know what I'm going to do with it anyway because I can't use it in the lake. Um, so I'll probably end up selling it once I get it once I get it repaired so um but anyway that's that's uh that's where I got it from is Sunspot and uh they're out in California and you know check them out and see what they see if they make they might make that I don't know but there are companies that still make them pretty uh heavy duty like that and I think that scoop was around 250 bucks and that one is like like I said well, after shipping everything like 450 so anyway um, um, hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like and also check out the uh, Tarsachi forums too and um, hope to see you there thanks a lot this is Aaron out